All right, we're going to begin tonight with a crime that's just going to make you sick. A Polk County school bus driver, a school bus driver now, behind bars, accused of the unthinkable. Police say 72-year-old Carlos Ojeda sexually assaulted at least two special needs children who rode his bus. News Channelist Melissa Marino is joining us now live with this story, and I guess they're thinking here that he targeted these students. Yeah, according to police, he only drove school buses with special needs students, and they say that he lured them in with candy. Watch this surveillance video on this Polk County school bus. Bus driver Carlos Ojeda unwraps a piece of candy as he talks to a student, blurred on the right side of the screen. You can tell she knows exactly what he wants her to do. He wants her to come to him to get this candy. He doesn't give her the candy until he abuses her. It's, it's disgusting. Part of a sick ritual. With candy in hand, detectives tell us he would reach down their pants and fondle them. According to court documents, Ojeda abused two girls under the age of 12, both with special needs. They rode his bus to Horizons Elementary School in Davenport. Perhaps they wouldn't be able to tell? He was absolutely targeting special needs kids. The only buses he drives are special needs children's buses. We spoke with one woman at the school who is furious. Her nephew has special needs. You know, my nephew goes to school. He rides one of them buses. She had strong words for Ojeda. Let this guy go to prison, and I hope that all the inmates in them cells just demolish that dude. According to police, he positioned himself so others couldn't see. But one student did and told on him. Without the courage of that child, we might not have known what was going on. According to the police report, Ojeda admitted it happened eight times, and there could be more victims. He drove a bus for three different schools, and he's been a bus driver since 2007. Could it potentially be hundreds? Yeah, yeah, it could potentially be hundreds if you consider he's been driving a bus for nine years. So we're told there was an aide on that bus. She's currently being interviewed, and then there are possibly other aides from his other routes that they will be interviewing. Keith? Boy, to, but to target the most vulnerable is just awful. And he's been doing this, at least driving a school bus for a while, so it raises questions about whether they did a background check on him or what they found along the way. What do you know about that, Melissa? So according to the school, they checked his background. He has a clean record up until now. He's currently suspended without pay, and we're told that he could also be terminated. Well, I would think so. Melissa Marino reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.